been down on this dark road, but now I'm lit and I'm shining. Might not come when you want, but woo, God got perfect timing. Trying to get to the rooftop, oh, up the ladder I'm climbing. Then get no love before. Hey, 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 babes. What it do? It's me, your girl, Cherry Banks. Welcome to my channel if you are new to my channel. But if you're not new to my channel, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss no upcoming content videos that I have on the way. Let's get to it. Okay, so in today's video, I am going to be showing and telling y'all how I came up with this beautiful flower wall that's behind me. I got my inspiration from a video that I saw on YouTube like a couple years ago. And when I saw the video, I was just like, <laughs> yeah nope i'm not doing all that shit. <laughs> i'm not but then just recently my cousin sent me a video of this girl on tiktok doing the same technique and i'll be posting they links below so y'all can go check their videos out too but yeah i was like well maybe that's a sign for me to go ahead and get the shit done because my studio was boring and plain and i needed something cute quick and affordable and yes it was affordable because i got all these items out the dollar tree yeah because who finna go spend two three hundred dollars on some fake flowers okay because i ain't either <laughs> i ain't <laughs> but yeah on the next slide i'll be leaving a list of everything that i used so yeah if you want to watch me create this wall put it all together and put it up in the ceiling and on the walls then just keep watching and stay tuned i used some needle nose pliers to take the filters out the markers i did end up using two markers per bowl two blue two black and two purple and you're just gonna fill the bowl up with hot water. And keep in mind, the more water you put in the bowl, the lighter your colors will be. And the less water you use, the darker your colors will be. And mine came out a few different shades because when the water got low, I just added a little more and you know, it kind of lightened the colors a little bit. And then you just take a little small stack of filters and dip the ends in the water. And I didn't count how many filters per stack. I just grabbed a few. And let me tell you, man, if you dip these one by one, you are on your own. It's going to take you forever. And if you're not using the washable markers, you should probably cover your space up with some plastic, garbage bags, whatever. Because the color is going to eventually run to the bottom of those filters. And I don't need y'all making no mess blaming me. These are a few that I got done. I just spread them out across my table. And then I realized I was running out of space. I ended up moving these and spreading them out on the floor on a piece of plastic so I wouldn't stain my carpet. And this is just batch number one because I had to do this twice. I bought 11 packs of coffee filters and it was 150 per pack. And I used two coffee filters per flower, which came out to be 825 flowers total. Okay, so you're going to take two separate filters per flower. Put them together and kind of fold them and find the middle. And then you're going to take the inside sheet, wrinkle it up, you know, fold it the way you want to fold it. Either way you do it, it's going to look like a flower, so you ain't got to spend a whole lot of time doing it. Do the outside sheet, take the bottom, twist them together, and you got yourself a flower. And I'm going to do it one more time. You just take two sheets, find the middle, crinkle the first sheet up, do the same with the outside sheet, twist the bottom. Really let me know that they ain't standing next to a bitch. Why you checking for 
for me, just come get a check with me, bitch. Guess my real cocky swag intimidated the trick. I'm, I'm on some boss shit. I ain't trying to compete with a chick. Go get your own pedestal. Come have a seat with me, bitch. You want a link, but, but I know you got a fly for your click. Say you don't know me, but you want to meet and greet with the kid. Real tall, big stepper on some dotted green giant shit. Got a feeling small like, sorry, honey, I shrunk the bitch. Little bitty bitches better miss me with that small shit. Talking big things with CEOs, I'm on call with. Always ahead, flip a coin, get you tossed up. Nigga want to eat me because he knows so many flowers. Halfway done. And this is all 825 flowers complete. So many flowers. Look at all the different colors and shades. They came out so cute. Then you want to get your hot glue gun, hot glue them to your foam boards. Make sure you hold them down for a few seconds just so they'll dry because if you don't, it's going to pop right back off. I finally made it to the end and y'all just don't know how glad I was to get to the end. I used 12 boards in total. And right now what you see me doing is just putting these up in my ceiling. This is in my bonus room upstairs, the highest part of my house. So the ceiling is kind of low and slanted. So to put them in the ceiling, I use four small tack nails. And on that bottom wall space, I just use some command strips. But you can use double-sided tape, sticky tabs, thumbtacks, whatever you want to use. Just make sure it ain't nothing permanent that's going to damage your walls or nothing.
And the finished product came out so pretty. I'm glad I did take the time and not be lazy and go get this done because now my studio got a little vibe to it. And look at that flower wall. You cannot tell me those are not flowers. I ended up adding some purple LED lights that my mama gave me. Thank you, mama. See me flexing, you see me shine when I'm popping up on your timeline. But you ain't see the struggle, you don't know the hustle. You ain't see me working, putting overtime. When I'm hot, they don't see me sweat. Pray about it, get it off my chest. Highly